busted. Hi, book lovers. It's Jetty at Julia Baby Jen's Reading Room, and this is day five in my 15 day blogger challenge. Um, actually, I am pre recording this to. Uh, get me through the weekend because this weekend's going to be pretty busy for me and I won't make, don't think I'm going to have time to record. So I decided to just go ahead and record it and set it up and be ready to go for the weekend. And <clears throat> today, day five, is I'm supposed to recommend you some tearjerkers, some really good tearjerker books. And um, this this wasn't that hard, but I mean, I, I cry at books pretty easily, so, um, but I did pick two that I think just about everybody who's invested in the books cried in. Um, the first one I don't have with me. It's uh, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, and everybody knows this is a tearjerker. It deals with two kids who fall in love who have, uh, who have cancer and are dying. So obviously it's going to be a tearjerker, but it wasn't, you know, thoroughly sad from beginning to end. It was, but there was a lot of great dialogue between the two. They're both such smart, quirky characters that it just made for a really good read and I, I really love the whole idea behind how they fell in love with this book and the author and their whole goal was to find out because the book ends I guess the book they fall in love with is a fictional book I think but they fall in love with this book and it has like a uh, a quick ending and they, you don't know what happens at the really end of it it's like a it doesn't really tell you a lot so they wanted to meet the author and find out what really happened after the book. So this becomes kind of their goal. And it's just a really cool story, and, and I really like it. And you will cry. It, it's just inevitable. Um, but it's really worth it. It's a great book. And it's just, it's, it's just it's awesome. Um, I really haven't, I've only read one other John Green so far, Looking for Alaska. And that one was really good, too. And that one did make me cry, too. So I think it's safe to say that you might cry at every John Green book. I really... Don't know. I've read the rest of them. Um, the other one I do own, and it's the third in a trilogy, so you have to wait to get to the third in the trilogy. But it is so worth it. The Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This book made me out and out fall. It was so touching. It was so beautiful. So well written. It is just an amazing story. The trilogy is is great, but this is the book that really really puts everything on the table and it's just it's just a masterpiece it's a really really good story really good book um, and the first two are great too the first one a lot of people didn't like I liked it uh, but they get better and better as, as the series goes along so you know if you read the first one and weren't thrilled by it I would say keep reading because it is so worth it in the end these are great books so those are my uh, recommend, tearjerker recommends that I can come up with off the top of my head. Um, and let me know if you guys have any suggestions for me. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Busted. <laughs>